Um, what do you think about all of these language learning tools, these apps that are popping up left and right? The most most popular one, of course, Duolingo. At yeah. least that's that's to me. I don't I don't know how it works actually. I remember following. I think it was Rosetta Stone at some point. It works quite similar. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's for free. That's the only okay. difference. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what I hated about it is that they didn't tell you what the rules were, and you were having to guess it yourself. But yeah. then. For many people, it may work. For me, it does not because, okay. you know, you give me the rule and I can go on and apply it because I understand what these rules should mean. I see. So for me, it never worked. And I think a lot of these um, these uh, tools are very much focused on, I don't know, like single words or things that come together, right? So you get whole sentences. I guess if you don't have any other option... At least you're getting something done, but that's true. Yeah, um, I've been quite happy with. Uh, sorry, sorry for interrupting you. No. I've been uh, I've been quite happy with Duolingo. I have to say, I'm not getting sponsored by these people, by the way. <laughs> Just if somebody might be, uh, no, I'm not. Uh, I've been um, using it to learn Spanish because it's it reminded me of Rosetta Stone, and you have this. Sure, you have this gamification aspect to it which I sometimes find a little bit too much. But what I do like is surprisingly the thing that you dislike about it is I, I actually do like that they don't, they don't tell, tell you. you the rules, which works fine because these are all Indo-European languages, right? So like you already uh -huh. speak German and in Spanish it's, it's, it's like one step away. It's not the same, the exact same family of languages, but but they do follow, a, there's a very systematic saying between German and Spanish. Yeah. Now you go and apply this to Japanese or Farsi, right? Yeah, that okay. is not, or Farsi is that Indo-European? No, no, I should um, I don't think so. At yeah. least it's not how it feels to me when I form, <laughs> when I form sentences, it feels structure-wise very different. Right. Yeah. So then it's probably not Indo-European, yeah. but I, I don't know. I may be making, I, I don't know. Just don't um, go look it up yourself. Yes. Yes. Japanese, I know, is a, is a concrete, because I tried to learn Japanese using Rosetta Stone. And then it doesn't work, right? Because you've got, you know for sure that the rules are completely different. But you've got no clue, absolutely no clue how you're supposed to put words together in a sentence. So I'm not sure if people have tried to use these type of types of tools for learning something that is completely different typologically, yeah. if it works so well. I, I do think you need some explicit information about how sentences are to be formed because it's completely different. I do think that's the case. I mean, there was specifically with the Spanish, of course, I was, uh, the first thing I did is I was looking for a, a Spanish buddy to yep. try out my newfound Spanish. And I have been laughed at oh, left and right, really? which is fine. I mean, I totally get it. I mean, when you say things like I, I own a suitcase, they think, <laughs> why do you learn how to say that? But you have to start somewhere. Uh, but then I was making sentences where I thought I understood the structure and then they corrected me. I'm like, wait, wait, but it should be like this because in that scenario, it's this. And then they explain the underlying rule. And then all of a sudden like, oh, oh okay, that would have been handy to know. Right. But yeah, so it's maybe it's too removed from that. You know, once yeah. in a while, it would actually be useful to right, know. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't think it should all be, you know, you learn the rule and then you go and just repeat the rule. Yeah. Just that, it just drilling. Of, uh, German German school language right? learning. Right, like that. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just drill the rule. So maybe not that, but also sometimes it is good to know what the underlying rule is because then you get the aha and then you can go on and apply it. And if you just have to implicitly derive it yourself, in some cases, it could be that you're not as efficient in doing it. Yeah. So that would be my my issue with these tools that sometimes some more rules would help. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So But what you did is very good, I think, like putting to the practice. Putting to practice what you learn quite as soon as you can. That's to me really the way to go. Right. I it's I did this with Dutch as well. I just got the I wanted to do the the Dutch uh, training course here, but I had to pay for it. It was 1,500 euros. Oh, I didn't have that money. <laughs> so I thought, well, the Germans had come here, learned that in four weeks. How hard can it be? 
<laughs> well, little did I know. So I just bought this little book. The, the, um, what was it called? Uh, Power Course Niederländisch für Deutsche. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's what it was called. <laughs> Not for dummies, but for Deutsche. Yeah, yeah for that. <laughs> it was, and I, and I pushed through it in four weeks. And then of course you learned these basic rules, how to make plurals, what's, what's the, the articles and things like this. And from that point on, I just tried to drill vocabulary into my head. And to all my Dutch friends, I said from now on, Dutch, no more English, which was very difficult for them because they are very accommodating. Mm -hmm. At least they try to be. And in this case, it just didn't help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> But my, my language, um, my Dutch language then improved. Yeah. I would say exponentially just because I had to use it. I yeah. had to put things into yep. some type of a form. Yeah, exactly. It was terrible at the beginning, but after four weeks of suffering, I could definitely <laughs> tell there was improvement. So I thought, hey, okay, I have to do the same with Spanish. Yeah, and well, unfortunately, exactly? I, I paused no time. so far. <laughs> I have to admit it's the time that's the problem. Yeah, right. Yeah, And then yeah. it's easier if you, if you already have those people around you, right? Exactly. But if you have to find a buddy that then will have to make time, it's going to be one hour a week and it's already not really enough. That's yeah, exactly the one hour a week. Is, so I was doing the Duolingo every day. Mm -hmm. So that was good. And then I was trying to just call them once a week, but even that faded away and yeah. it's, yeah, yeah it's that was hard. difficult, but yeah. it's, it's, I guess it's the way to go. And lots yeah. of people like learning new languages. Yeah. yeah exactly. That's at least what I learned through Duolingo. <laughs> yeah. So Duolingo, if you're listening, uh, maybe put some grammar rules in some, there sometimes at some showing, point. Yeah. Maybe I just didn't get to that level yet. It's, <laughs> it's possible. I don't know, <laughs> but. If you didn't, just do that. Yeah, yeah. Every now and then dropping like, this is the rule we are trying to teach you. That would help. Yes, yes. <laughs>